What are the top things to do around Little Italy here in San Diego? Find out next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the San Diego series. Today we are in San Diego's popular Little Italy neighborhood in downtown San Diego. We're gonna check out some of the restaurants, some of the delis, and the Italian influence of this old fishing town that used to bring in a bunch of tuna. A lot of Portuguese and Italians have lived here throughout the years in San Diego. A lot of historical pubs and bars around here and some great food. This has actually been like a culinary hub of San Diego over the past few years. And with outdoor dining opening back up, it's hustling and bustling again. And I wanna show you guys around town. We just made it here to Mona Lisa. It's an Italian food shop. It's an Italian restaurant, deli and liquor but they have some really great sandwiches here and I ordered one, so we're gonna try it out for lunch. Now there are a few parking spots here available at Mona Lisa Italian Foods and I was able to snag one and I'm just gonna eat my sandwich in front of my car. One entrance is the deli and the liquor store and then the next entrance is the actual restaurant. They have a lot of Italian goods here and a lot of imports from Italy. They have a bunch of pasta shells here you can get. And there's the bucatini noodles for bucatini alla matriciana. Check out all the old school boots they have in here. Cool old school frames. All right, Jagation is we're gonna try out the Capicola sandwich. It's got lettuce, Italian meats, tomatoes, Italian dressing. I added some mozzarella cheese to it, so cheers. That's a delicious sandwich. I love the torpedo sesame bread here. Really nice, thick amounts of deli meat. So the cost of most of their sandwiches is about 12 to $14. A little on the pricier end, but they're giving you some really quality meats and some really quality ingredients. It's definitely worth trying and they have this nice patio you can eat your sandwich outside at. Another famous sandwich here is their Caprice sandwich, which is their vegetarian vegan sandwich with the mozzarella and the tomato. So if you're into that, try it out. I also ordered my sandwich online, so I had to go in the restaurant and pick it up. Now they also have a deli counter, but that's not where they make their Postmates order. So make sure if you order it online ahead of time, you go straight to the counter in the restaurant and you're actually allowed to eat here in the patio. All right, vacationers on Blue Flash we go. So I'm just cruising down the bike lane here in Little Italy. After 5 p.m., this garage is $5, but not before. So I had to use the parking uh, meter and I only got two hours. I'm just gonna cruise on the skateboard. It's a lot faster. So we are now entering the heart of Little Italy. They have Isola Pizza Bar right here. Colorful condominiums. Ever Bowl Superfood. And the Mexico Consulates right here. We're on India and Cedar. I've eaten at this burger lounge in the past. Now outdoor eating has started up again here in Little Italy. So there are tons of tents out here on the streets and people are back in business here. Really happy to see that. And this is the main area right here. I'm gonna talk about this in a little bit. You have a ton of awesome restaurants here. You got Mr. Moto Pizza, Cafe Italia, and Felipe's is somewhere around here. And this is one of the main areas where you can sit down and have lunch. Now the Princess Pub and Grill is one of the older bars here in San Diego. And I've spent New Year's Eve and St. Paddy's Day over there in the past. My, one of my old friends used to rock out in an Irish band called the Shamrockers. So this is Piazza della Familia, honoring the Little Italy families of the past, present and future, dedicated on August 2, 2018. And this is the famous Princess Pub and Grill. I love this spot. So here are the rules. No outside alcohol is permitted. Keep tables and chairs within those designated social distancing squares. So one little tidbit about this place. It's a state park, I believe, and it has that designation and it was able to stay open 
So people were able to get takeout and actually eat here even when outdoor dining was banned. You just had to stay within these squares. This is the famous Little Illy food hall. So for those of y'all that know who Sam the Cooking Guy is, got millions of followers on Facebook, he's from San Diego and he has so many restaurants and businesses around town. And this food hall has many of his owned businesses. So if you like Sam the Cooking Guy, there's a ton of Sam the Cooking Guy properties around this area for you to eat. Y'all know I like designs on steps. These have really subtle designs, but cool. And they also have dedications to people in the community down below too. And this is the fountain on the other end. And Prep Kitchen is down the way. That's a good restaurant. All right, Jaycationers, if you're finding value so far in this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like. It really helped distribute this video throughout YouTube. And if you could subscribe to my channel, I have plenty of San Diego content to come, including places like Little Italy and all around downtown San Diego. So stay tuned. Now back to the Little Italy travel guide. And this is also a really great place to buy some property if you have the money and you can afford it. I know a lot of my friends that are getting a little older, they're uh, buying properties here and moving out of their homes in the suburbs and getting a condo with a nice view here in Little Italy. So this is Nona Comfort Food, Mimos, and Felipe's Pizza Grotto. And it's been here since 1950. They have outdoor dining right now. I've mentioned Felipe's in the past. There's plenty of locations around San Diego and Felipe's is a San Diego staple. I also love these picket fences, how they're colored, Italian style. Right next to Blick Art Materials. Now, those of y'all that are artists know about Blick. I've picked up a lot of art supplies here, even though I'm not an artiste. I pick up some uh, poster albums here in the past and a bunch of other things for the house. So Blick is a really cool spot, especially if you like to paint and do other hand arts and crafts. And we also got Civico 1845 across from Blick, and that's a popular spot to dine. And with all this outdoor dining, Valentine's Day is gonna definitely be cracking. One time on my birthday, I've eaten here at Ben Cotto Pizza Kitchen, and they have a huge outdoor area right now. As we move along the way, look at this old school wine house right here. That's born and raised. Now, if I skip one of your favorite restaurants, don't get disappointed. It's just I'm on the skateboard and I'm just flying by all these places and I can't possibly name all the restaurants here in one going. But just want to show you guys how Little Italy is currently as of February 3rd. Now, this is the Bolt Brewery. Pretty good beers over at Bolt. And if you look west, that is where the Star of India and the Embarcadero is. And we are on Grape Street right now. And that's the 5 Freeway. So you go along India, Kettner, and Columbia Street. Once again, we're passing Mona Lisa's. There's your neighborhood barber shop. Holy Paleta, Ascenti's Pasta, and Puerto La Buca. Now we're on Hawthorne and in India currently. So Little Italy is a lot bigger than you think. This is Pali Wine Company. And over here is more Vino Carta spots, more wine bars. And my favorite brewery, my go-to brewery, Ballast Point, also has a location here in Little Italy. I've gone here with the homie Haley Dasovich in the past. Shout out to Haley Takes on the World. We were out here drinking one, one of these years, I think back in 2018. Nice little mural there. And you also got a bottle craft, which has plenty of an array of San Diego craft beers. The Yesai is a vegan spot. And this right here is Nolita Hall. It's a really popular spot. I've had dinner here with a few of my friends in the past. Nice place to catch a game. And it looks like they possibly are setting up for outdoor dining here on the outside, but they're not quite open, maybe in the weekend. So we're here on the northern end of Little Italy. And after I pass El Camino, I'm gonna hook a left and go towards the water a little bit. Love this. Look at this mural. Planes flying over the Little Italy sign. I love it. Now during better times, El Camino was a nice late night spot to hit up. They made punch bowls with the pandemic going on. Sharing a punch bowl, that's a no-no. So I doubt they serve that even if they're open. There's Wolfie's Carousel Bar and a lot of art and design spots here. And we're now on Kettner, which also runs along the main parts of Little Italy. So they have a lot of home and design things here. D3 Home. Yeah, this area is bigger than I thought especially on my skateboard. 
at least I can cover all of it. Now you've seen me cover this in Encinitas. This is the Little Italy version. This is the Crack Shack where I had the poutine fries and they have some really good chicken. Now this is Juniper and Ivy. It's a really luxurious restaurant. A lot of people take their significant others or prospects here on dates. They have some really fine dining over here. So my audio cut out over here and I just wanted to talk a little bit about Kettner Boulevard. There's a nice gelato spot, supernatural sandwiches, and a lot of the newer condominiums that are being put up are there. Kettner Exchange is a really cool place to check out. Then you also got Underbelly, which has this really cool outdoor bar patio with plexiglass. And then you see some random craftsman style houses. And as we walk around Little Italy, you just discover more and more little things about the place. We're now on foot. We're still here in the Little Italy area on the southern border. We're gonna show you a dessert spot that's really popular here. So we're actually here on Ash and Union. Little Italy gets cracking at night. Even though I'm here on a Wednesday, I'm sure there'll still be people out and about having dinner and all that good stuff. This right here is the popular Extraordinary Desserts. Great date spot. And they have tons of pastries and great desserts here. All right, we're walking to my favorite gelato in San Diego, and that's Papaleco Espresso Gelato Panini. And this is the one here in Little Italy. They also have one in the Hillcrest Bankers Hill area. So if you're looking for amazing gelato that reminds you of Italy, this is the place to be. And they do have a little bit of outdoor dining here. So that was Papaleco Gelato. It's a great spot, but I'm just not, not in the mood for uh, gelato today. So just wanted to show you what they had inside and I definitely say check it out when you're here. Look at Ciao Bella. I noticed a lot of dogs in this neighborhood too. Awesome, it's like an old Italian building. I also wanted to show you guys to the Queenstown. It's a New Zealand food restaurant. I remember seeing a Disney YouTubers, uh, Best Life and Beyond. I follow them and they had a lunch here one of these days and I thought it was awesome. They have a nice patio out here. So if you're interested in New Zealand style food. They have a great menu over there, but that sandwich still has me stuffed. So things to watch out for here in Little Italy is parking. It's hard, it's hard to find parking. It took me a bunch of time to find something that was uh, decent enough for me to pay. This is Crafting Commerce. I wanted to take you to the False Idol Tiki Bar here, but it doesn't look open, but right across the street is uh, King and Queen Cantina, and it looks like it's cracking right now. All right, Jay Kishner, so I couldn't possibly cover all of Little Italy but I gave you a few spots to go check out and gave you a nice little overview. So hopefully that makes you decide that you'd wanna come here to visit it at least when you're here in San Diego. If you guys like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a like. It really helps distribute this video throughout YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. I have tons of San Diego content to come. Hopefully I'll be traveling back to Barcelona someday and maybe Vegas in the future. So stay tuned for that. And hit that notification bell so you know when I do my once a week live streams and also post my videos sporadically throughout the week. I also started a Facebook group called It's Always Sunny in San Diego. There's about 250 plus San Diego enthusiasts talking about news, things to do, and just their love for San Diego. So go check that out on Facebook. And if you wanna check me out on Patreon, I'm sending out postcards to a few of my patrons. So go check out Patreon in the link down below. And I'll see y'all in the next video around San Diego. And from Little Italy, thanks for watching. And in the words of Ron Burgundy, stay traveling, San Diego. Uh...